Hello everybody, Mike Hoffman here with another video tutorial recorded exclusively for Tip Squirrel at www.tipsquirrel.com. Today we're going to be looking at a question that I get asked very often, and that is, how do I go about moving my Lightroom catalog from one computer to another? Whether it's to load it on my laptop and take it with me on a trip, or whether it's to move to a new computer because I've upgraded, or whether I'm just recovering from a disaster and loading a totally new computer, what's the best way to move my catalog and keep all of my folders, my collections, and my published presets intact during the move? Well, I can't say that today's tip is going to be the best way, but I can tell you that it's proven very reliable for me, and so I'm going to share it with you. In order to understand the way that we go about moving a Lightroom installation from one machine to another, we have to understand the two main parts of the Lightroom universe, and that is the catalog and the images. And there are two separate things. Now where is your catalog? In Windows, if you go under Edit Catalog Settings, or on a Mac it's Lightroom Catalog Settings, you see in the dialog box here under General, the location of your Lightroom catalog and in my case, it's Users, Mic, Pictures, Lightroom. Your installation may be different, but this is where you can find the location. And right below that, you can see the file name. And in my case, the name of the catalog is Mic Main Catalog LR4. And the .lrcat is the file suffix of a Lightroom catalog. Now, if we go to the hard drive and pull up that location on the C drive, and you can see right here I'm in Users, Mic, Pictures, Lightroom, and right here we can see the Mic Main Catalog LR4.LRCAT file, and we can see two other files here, a .lock and a .journal file, and those are indicating that Lightroom is open right now and that file is in use. So at the moment we can't do anything with it, but if we close out a Lightroom, those two files go away, and then what we're going to want to do is copy that lrcat file over to an external drive. So here I've got a drive M and if I go to a Lightroom folder that I've created on this external drive I can just drag this file over and I've already done that to save time here it's 855 megabytes in my case so these files can get quite large but that is the Lightroom catalog and it's now been copied to an external drive. Now the second part of your Lightroom installation is the files themselves. And there's one very important tip in organizing your files and that's to keep everything under one top level folder. So if you look over here in my folders list on the left you can see that I've got one top level folder called Originals on Drive E and everything else is organized by date underneath that. So this is going to make it very easy for me to copy my files over and it's going to also make it very easy for me to restore them when I install the new version of Lightroom on the new machine. So let's take a look here. This is my drive E and here's the originals folder and you can see all the folders with the dates. And what I'm going to want to do is to go back into my external drive here and I'm just going to copy that originals folder over onto the external drive. So here you can see is my originals folder with all of the date folders and inside the date folders are all my raw files that make up my photo library. So now at this point I've got the originals backed up and in the Lightroom folder here I've got my catalog backed up and now I'm ready to load the new machine. So I'm going to simply disconnect this external drive and connect it to the new machine. Now rather than switch machines in the middle of a video recording, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Lightroom and I'm going to open a different catalog which is going to be the default catalog that you'll see when you start a new installation of Lightroom and opening a new catalog will close the current catalog and relaunch Lightroom so we'll go ahead and do that and skip the backup in this case okay so here we have Lightroom in its default configuration the way you'd see it when you install it in your system. Nothing is in the catalog, there are no files, no folders, and the identity plate is the default. So everything is as you'd see it 
when you start from scratch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this catalog together with all the files that we've copied over to this external drive M. Recall that the catalog is in the Lightroom folder and the files themselves are in the originals folder and we're going to just load them straight from the external drive. If I were installing this on a new machine permanently, I'd copy these files over to the hard drive on the new machine. But in this case, we'll go ahead and open them directly from the external drive, just so you can see how the process works. So we'll go into Lightroom, and we'll choose File, Open Catalog. We're not going to import the catalog, we're going to open it. And then what we'll do is we'll navigate to the external drive, go into the Lightroom folder, and find the .lrcat file that we copied over into the external drive. So I'm opening up the catalog from this drive M. We'll click on Open, and Lightroom will ask us to relaunch once again with the new catalog. So we'll click on Relaunch, skip the backup, and here comes Lightroom. Now, at this point, we've got our identity plate restored because that's stored in the catalog. And we've got our folders here, but we don't see any thumbnails. And we notice question marks by all the files, question marks on all the thumbnails. The question mark means that Lightroom doesn't know where the file is. And you'll recall when, and you'll recall that in the original catalog, all my files were on drive E in a folder called Originals. But now they're not on Drive E anymore because I've moved to a new machine. So I really want the files that are on Drive M. So what I'm going to do is simply right click on Originals and choose Find Missing Folder. Now I'll navigate to Drive M, go into the Originals folder, and there it is, and I'll just select it. Now at this point, notice the drive letter has changed. It's now gone from E to M. There's my originals folder. And here are all my files. Minus this one, which I did, didn't restore. So if we look here, we've got files, we've got folders, and we can go specifically to the one that we were looking at when we started here. It takes a few minutes for the files to load because they're loading from an external drive. But there you have it, all reloaded and all the files now have been located. So that's all there is to it. At this point, if we check, we still have all of our collections. We even have all of our published services set up with the original credentials intact. So I can immediately publish these photos to Flickr or to Facebook or to my hard drive, wherever I want. All the settings are intact from the original catalog. So there you have it. That is a very quick way to migrate your catalog from one machine to another. The key elements here were copying over the original Lightroom catalog and keeping the original images grouped under one top level folder. If you have many folders in your catalog and they're not grouped under a top level folder, you'll have to repeat the find missing folder process many times over. So I strongly recommend you keeping your images organized under one single top level folder. This will help you a great deal as you move your catalogs around. Now what if you do have many top level folders in your catalog and you want to group them under a single top level but you're confused as to how to do that? Well that's a topic for a future Tip Squirrel video tutorial so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.